Hello, welcome to the Agent Getting Started series. Today we'll be talking about binary attachments and how Agent stores them within its database and how you can detach and use them in Windows. First, let's talk about where these binaries are actually stored. I'm sure you've noticed the document icons in the status column. Those icons indicate that the message has one or more binary attachments, and they're colored gold to indicate the attachments are actually stored inside Agent's internal database. Why is that important, you ask? Well, it's very important. But to find out why, we need to take a peek under the hood, or the bonnet for our UK friends. Hey, if you're going to own a sports car, you got to admire the engine once in a while. Let's start with the folder properties. Hmm, lots of uh, geeky stuff going on here. Filters, cross-posting, attachments, NZBs. But remember, unless you're a power user or a control freak like me, you'll never have to touch these settings. We're just checking things out. Let's start with the name and scheme panel. Notice that the folder is based on the binary newsgroup scheme, so it's optimized to work with binary groups. Agent also has built-in schemes for email folders, NZB folders, and text or discussion groups. But here's what I really want you to notice. Each folder is stored in two database files. There's an index file for navigation and a data file for content. In other words, all the pictures that I've sampled in alt.binaries.pictures.fractals are currently stored in this data file. This is huge because Usenet is a crazy place. You never know when some bozo is going to go off topic and post a, a picture that doesn't belong there. The last thing you need is some overly aggressive software to index all the JPEGs on your computer and upload them to the cloud. This is why we recommend the IRFIN viewer. Okay, enough already on the technical details. How do I get a picture out of Agents Database? First, let me zoom the message list. Then, to detach the image, I use File, Save All Attachments to Default Folder, or by pressing the keyboard shortcut, A. Let's keep going, using the letter A to detach the images we like. Oh, I like that one. Uh, mm, oh, there's my favorite. Now notice what's happening. Agent has change the document icon from gold to green for all of the attachments that we detached. So how do we find where they went? We'll just go to the File menu and select Open Attachment Folder and Agent launches Windows Explorer. In this case I'm displaying the alt.binaries.pictures.fractals folder, which is inside an attachments folder, inside my documents. If I have other news groups that I'm detaching files for, I can simply click into the attachments folder and then I'll see the other groups. This is great because it allows me to use my image viewing program to navigate through the files that I've detached into this folder. How nice is that? You should also know that you don't have to download and detach as two separate operations. I'm going to select this message, press the letter A, and do both operations in sequence. When I tab to the message pane, you can see that the image has been downloaded and saved to alt.binaries.pictures.movieposters. Then if I decide to delete that folder, Agent will ask me whether or not I should delete the attachments folder. 
In this case, I say yes because I want to remove all traces of this news group from my computer. Okay, let's recap what we've learned. By default, Agent stores binary images in its internal database as denoted by this gold icon. However, we can press the letter A and detach the binary image so that we can access it through Windows Explorer. To see those files, just go to Files open attachment folder and use Windows Explorer to open files in your favorite external image viewer. Thank you and enjoy.